Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero, the channel that is going to help you become the best version of yourself every single day. My name is Fabio and I'm an expert in risk management and market manipulation and today we are going to discuss about gaming, NFTs, artificial intelligence and metaverse on internet computer ICP. So let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. First of all, what I want to display is the ecosystem of internet computer, not only social fi and DeFi, but gaming, NFTs, metaverse and artificial intelligence. As you may see, there are currently 204 projects in the ecosystem of internet computer and what I expect is to see further development and growth in the following months and years. Let's start to talk about gaming and I will first compare Web2 and Web3 gaming. Why is, in my opinion, Web3 gaming much better than Web2 gaming? Because it is decentralized, you can earn cryptocurrencies, you have real ownership of the in-game assets, the governance is better and the security is enhanced. So let's focus on the security of the network for a moment, which in my opinion is the most uh, and biggest difference between Web2 and Web3 gaming. We have seen in the last cycle a lot of bridge hacks, outages, for example, Solana, scams, and investors tend to lose trust. What's very important is that the network is 100% secure so that investors can have the trust in the project. Why is internet computer better than most Web3 platforms? Because everything is hosted 100% on chain. Therefore, internet computer can offer true decentralization and true ownership of the in-game assets. Just uh, imagine and take in consideration what Solana, Ethereum, Matic are doing. They are so proud about their NFT volume. However, all those NFTs are stored off-chain. Real ownership comes when the assets are stored on-chain. Okay, the governance obviously on internet computer is much better because everything is hosted on chain and the security is enhanced. Just imagine how internet computer can operate in a secure way. It is hacker proof and I just proved you and explained you that other platforms had constant outages so the trust cannot be there. Okay, uh, let's now compare uh, top Web3 games with top Web2 games. And as you may see, the difference in daily uh, active players is day and night between the top Web2 and the top Web3 games. And why is that so? Why is that there is such a huge difference? If you mention, if I mention that Web3 gaming, in my opinion, is much better than Web2 gaming where there are multiple reasons. First, Web2 Gaming has been around for decades. There is a huge industry behind Web2 Gaming. The revenues of these projects and gaming studios are constantly increasing over time. And the projection for the future is that the revenues will keep on increasing in the next decade. What about Web3 Gaming? Web3 Gaming was developed in the last cycle, mostly. Some development happened already in 2017, but I would say most of, devel of the development happened last cycle in 2020-2021. Okay, if you take in consideration that it takes multiple years to develop a AAA game, obviously last cycle we couldn't see any results, so it was all speculation. We were speculating on the quality of those games. This cycle, finally, we can see some products like Shrapnel, Star Atlas, Illuvium, and all those games are very good. And I believe that with more development, those games will be even better. What about internet computer? Obviously, the quality of the games that are currently developed on internet computer is lower. However, internet computer has this huge and big advantage that it has the capability to run everything on chain. Why? Because it's extremely fast and it is extremely cheap 
and of course the cost of storage is much lower than thousand times lower than Solana and this is why it is even hard to store a picture on Solana while you can host whole games on the internet computer. Okay, um, so I'm betting here on the further development of internet computer over time and I just want to disclose that in my opinion it will take time to develop good games multiple years in my opinion. So patience is key as always. So some key takeaways. Um, so Web3 Gaming uh, will allow games to be hosted 100% on chain which is obviously ginormous for internet computer. Cubetopia is a prime example of a game built on the internet computer protocol showcasing its potential. I will show later Cubetopia and you will see that it is, uh, let's say, most um, more um, weaker, let's say, um, version of um, Minecraft. However, I believe that with time, more and more development will happen. Okay, um, there are a lot of key takeaways uh, about the gaming the NFTs. However, I want to really show you some numbers here. The video game market size between 2022 and 2032. Therefore, this is a projection with uh, real data for the last couple of years of Web2 gaming. So as you may see, these numbers are in billions of dollars. The uh, um, Web2 gaming industry was a $274 billion industry in 2023 and 24 this year. And the projection is that it will grow by threefold in the next decade. Okay, what about Web3 gaming? As you may see, the numbers for the last uh, for 2020 and 2021 are not even displayed in billions but in million dollars however the market size in 2023 was of 7.89 billion dollars therefore this is an, a huge undervaluation um, when compared to web2 gaming if you take in consideration that those uh, platforms like internet computer will be decentralized, will be much more secure than Web2 Gaming. I believe this is a no-brainer and an opportunity in the market at the moment. Okay, let's talk about the real advantages of internet computer. As I mentioned, everything is stored 100% on chain. 300 million transactions per day. Internet computer can process around 5,000 transactions per second. And this is absolutely huge with the top in the last 80 to 90 days of 20,000 transactions per second. And you may ask me, hey, but why is that so important? Because if there will be a lot of volume, a lot of market participants, a lot of games, NFTs, metaverse, everything deployed, on the chain obviously the number of transactions per second needs to be high obviously the cost of those transactions needs to be low and of course the cost of storage needs to be extremely low because the amount of information will be huge so what about the cost zero gas fees for players the internet computer was designed with mass adoption in mind canister smart contracts implement the reverse gas fee model which means that end users can interact with canisters without paying gas or even creating a wallet this enables novel revenue models and removes a big and high barrier of entry which once again it is extremely important especially if we take a look and combine these figures with the cost of storage and it is 1000 or 10,000 times um, cheaper than Solana and a million times cheaper than Ethereum. Okay, uh, let's now discuss about the metaverse and platforms and uh, projects like Uto uh, like Cubetopia, I'm sorry. So we can see here uh, that uh, Cubetopia 
is a weaker version of uh, Minecraft and it looks very primitive at the moment however I believe that uh, this will be um, developed in the future and overall this is already extra extra impressive because this is 100% on chain. There are other projects like Cosmic Crafts and um, I will show you a little clip of their uh, game. So as you may see, it is looking still primitive compared to some games like Shrapnel, like Star Atlas. However, this is a beginning and I believe with time this will look better and better and better. Okay, uh, let's now discuss about the artificial intelligence on internet computer. So as you may see, Definity partnered with Singularity Net to launch a joint AI initiative. Why is that important? Because the advent of uh, artificial intelligence and large language models has demonstrated the potential for the transformation of various industries. However, in their current centralized state, AI tools and services lack transparency of, of training data, resulting in lower trust in the corresponding outputs. Therefore, this is also a big step forward um, in um, internet computer and I'm happy to see more partnerships over time for internet computer. So Dominic Williams um, stated, there has been a lot of hype around artificial intelligence and blockchain recently, but artificial intelligence is not running on blockchain yet. The internet computer will be the first blockchain to run advanced AI models on its decentralized and permissionless network in a quasi-trustless model. Later, we will release full AI smart contracts, leveraging work that enables neural networks to run deterministically. Many projects on the internet computer already depend on artificial intelligence, but we anticipate much heavier usage once native Web3 AI is available. More generally, the future, we believe, blockchain will, will play a crucial role in helping the world trust AI with its data and decisions. Okay, moreover, the benefit of running AI models on the internet computer instead of a Web3 service is trust. The AI models running on the internet computer can be trusted due to the trustless as the execution provided by the platform. This means that the execution of AI is verifiable and secure, ensuring that the results generated by the models are reliable. The internet computer enables running AI in a way that allows for the separation of AI models and data. This allows different parties who do not trust each other to combine their models and data in an open marketplace. Incorporating AI into the internet computer platform allows for a broader available of models, availability of models and data, trustworthiness, separation of models and data, and increased ownership and transparency compared to Web3 platforms. So this is in line with what I mentioned, not only more security, also more, therefore more trust, everything is hosted on chain, therefore better governance, decentralization is much higher, Web2 games are not decentralized at all, actually they are very centralized and therefore I believe that the project itself is much better and revolutionary compared to Web2 as a whole. If we take in consideration once again, and I will end with this final thought, the undervaluation of Web3 compared to Web2. If we take in consideration how revolutionary uh, is what internet computer is doing, if we take in consideration that there are not other platform and blockchains that are trying to do what internet computer is doing, if we take in consideration the amount of time that will take to develop all these games, uh, these platforms, metaverses, we come to the conclusion that, I'm, in my opinion, in my very humble and personal opinion, we are at the initial stages of something that might be 
potentially huge in the future. Therefore, I'm more than happy to participate in the revolution, to be able to witness with my own eyes the development and growth on internet computer and in general of uh, Web3 gaming. Having said that, guys, if you have any specific questions about this topic, leave me a comment in the comment section. Give me a big fat thumbs up. As always, I um, use a lot of my personal time for this research. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.